Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be about circle skirt. I'm going to show you how to make a pattern for full three quarter, half and a quarter circle skirt. I've also made it easy for you by giving you the formula for calculating each of the skirts. You'll see them during the course of the video and I'll also write them down in the description box. That being said, let's start with the tutorial. These are the measurements you'll be needing for your skirt. You need to measure around your waist, which is your waist circumference, and you need to measure from your waist down the length of your skirt. So for a full circle skirt, you want to take your waist measurement and add 1 inch seam allowance to that and divide that by 6.28 to get your radius. Now my waist measures 25 inches. And because I want a seam allowance at the center back, I'm going to add one inch to my waist measurement, which will be 26 inches. And I'm going to, 26 inches will be my waist measurement. So 26 inches divided by 6.28. Now 6.28 is the radius for, is the formula for calculating a full circle skirt. So mine is going to give me 4.1 inches, which will be the radius for my full circle skirt. So I'm working with my paper. You can go ahead and use your fabric if you want to, but you have to fold your fabric in four. So working from the top edge of my paper, I'm going to place my measuring tape right at the corner of my paper and measure downwards 4.1 inches round the corners of my paper. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and measure those marks I've made. So my measurement gives me six and three eighths of an inch. If I multiply that by four, I'm going to have exactly 26 inches. So once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and connect those points and then mark in my seam allowance at the top of my skirt. Now you're going to add seam allowance at the top of your skirt because you need to add a waistband to your skirt or if you're joining this to the bodies of a dress, if it's a dress you also need to add your seam allowance at the waist. Now you're going to cut along the seam allowance to cut your full circle skirt. Now from the radius of my skirt, I'm going to mark down the length of my skirt. So if I want my skirt to be 15 inches, I'm going to add 1 inch to 15 inches to make um, for my hemming allowance, which will make it 16 inches. So from the radius of my skirt, I'm going to mark 16 inches down the length of my paper. Once that's done, you can go ahead and cut out your paper and cut out your pattern piece. But I'm not going to draw that in because I'll be using this paper for the rest of the skirt. So moving on to our three quarter circle skirt, you're going to take your waist measurement Add a 1 inch seam allowance and divide that by 4.71 to get your radius. So again, my waist is um, 26 inches. So I'm going to divide 26 inches by the formula for a 3 quarter circle skirt. So 26 inches divided by 4.71 is going to give me 5.5 inches. So 5.5 inches will become the radius for my three quarter circle skirt. Like we did before, I'm going to measure from the corner edge of my paper downwards 5.5 inches. And I'm going to measure that round the edge of my paper. I'm going to connect those points and then take the measurement of that area. This 
this measurement if I multiply this measurement by 3 I'm going to get 26 inches for my waist circumference and then from there you can go ahead and add the length of your skirt from that radius now 3 quarter of an inch circle skirt is a bit difficult to cut because you can't fold your fabric into four so what you can do is cut out three separate pieces and join them together or you can cut one you can place your fabric on fold once cut out one piece and then cut out another one piece so once that's done i can go ahead and add up my seam allowance at the top of my paper and this second point will be the radius for my three quarter skirt. Then go ahead and mark in the length of the skirt that you want and then you can go ahead and cut it out from the radius. Here I was just explaining that you can't fold your fabric in four so what you can do is also make three or two more of these papers join them on either sides and cut out one full piece now moving on to a half circle skirt you need your waist measurement plus seam allowance divided by 3.14 to get your radius So like I did for the other skirts, I'm going to divide 26 inches by 3.14 and this will give me 8.2 inches. Again from the top of my paper, I'm going to mark my radius which is 8.2 inches, I'm going to mark that all round my paper 8.2 inches is also eight and a quarter of an inch so mark that round my paper and i'm going to connect those points using my curved ruler and once that's done i'm going to take that measurement And divide that measurement by 2 so I got 13 inches if I sorry multiply by 2 if I multiply 13 by 2 I'm going to have 26 inches then I can go ahead and mark my seam allowance and put down and mark also the length of my skirt from that radius point and cut out my pattern now for your half circle, all you need to do is fold your fabric in two. Now for a quarter circle skirt, you need your waist measurement plus seam allowance divided by 1.57 to get your radius. Now my waist divided by 1.57 is going to give me 16.5 inches. Again, from the top of my paper, I'm going to place down my 16.5 inches. Sixteen point five inches all round my paper from the very edge of it. Then I'm going to connect those I'm going to connect those points with my curved ruler. And if I take the measurement of that point it's going to give me exactly 26 inches which will be my waist measurement. So for your half circle all you need to do is cut one piece of it so you're going to cut one piece of your half of your quarter circle 
so there's no need to fold your paper in your fabric in half or anything so from that point you can go ahead and add the length of your skirt so mine is 16 inches so I'm going to go ahead and add 16 inches to the length of my paper and also add my seam allowance at the top of my paper as well. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and cut out my pattern. So I've added my seam allowance and I've cut out the length of my pattern. So I have my full circle, my three quarter circle, my half circle and my quarter of an inch circle. So here I have this bed sheet and I'm going to use it as an example to show you how to fold your paper, your fabric. So already my fabric is folded in two or my bed sheet is folded in two. So along the folded edge, you're going to fold it again into four. So on one side you should have four open edges and on the other side you should also have four closed edges. Now you're going to place your pattern in such a way that the pattern, the edges of the pattern is on both folded edge. Here my pattern is on the open edge but that's wrong. You need to fold, place your pattern on both folded edge. If I were to place it on the other side of my fabric, it will be on both folded edge. So place it on both folded edge, cut out your pattern, open it and cut one side open for your center back seam. Now for your three quarter circle, like I was explaining before, you can't place this on your paper on your fabric when it's folded into four and you can't fold your fabric into three either so what you're going to do is either cut three separate pieces of this pattern and join them at the side seams or you're going to make um, two other piece of this pattern paper join them along the side seams and then cut one full piece of your three quarter circle skirt. Now I'm not going to lie, cutting a three quarter circle skirt is going to be a bit difficult because I find it difficult to. But if you do, as I've said, it's going to work out fine for you. Now moving on to a half circle skirt, all you need to do is fold your, your fabric in two. So here I have my fabric folded in two, so there's just one folded edge for my pattern, my fabric. So I'm going to place my pattern on along the folded edge and the other edge of my paper like this. And then I'm going to pin that down and cut out my pattern. And once I cut that out, I have one full piece for my half circle skirt. For my cutter circle skirt, all I need to do is place my pattern paper on one layer of my fabric and cut out from the waist circumference of my cutter circle skirt and then the length of it. Someone asked me if I could make a tutorial for a gathered skirt pattern. For that, you just need to double or triple your waist circumference. You can use your half circle skirt pattern for for that but you need to fold your fabric into four and cut out your pattern this way you have access to gather around the waist of your pattern thank you guys so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the channel bye